If you're an expat living in Spain or planning to move here, one of the considerations you'll have to make is which bank account to open. Oh my god. Local banking system can be confusing because of the language barrier or hidden fees. Well, in this video I'll be discussing three best banks in my opinion for expats living in Spain. Main selling points for me are that it's free of charge, it's easy to set up, and there are some sort of features or perks that I actually end up using. There are some considerations when opening up these accounts and I will be talking about those later in the video. I'm not sponsored by any of these banks, I just like the service and I thought I'll just share it with you guys. But if anybody from their team is watching this video and want to sponsor the future videos, you are more than welcome. So to open a bank account in Spain, you'll need three things. Valid ID, NIE or the NIE, which is your personal identifier here in Spain, and proof of address. Once you have all these three, it's super simple. You just need your smartphone, download the apps, and the setup is fairly easy. With all of these banks, I didn't really have any issues during identification process. Uh, well, except with one where I had to go to the branch to present my ID. So the very first bank account I opened here in Spain was N26. And the main selling point for me was the Spanish IBA number. Essentially for the employers to be able to pay you, you need to have a Spanish Shiba number. With the free version, you also can open two savings accounts just on the fly, it's very easy to set up. Then another great thing about this account is that you have everything in English. So the life support, your bank account, everything will be there in English. I found it very useful, especially when I moved here. I used their live chat multiple times and the support is great. With N26, you can also use Bizum. Uh, that's basically the way to transfer money immediately between bank accounts just using a telephone number here in Spain. You also can make immediate transfers to other N26 users who might be in your contacts. Then you also have five free withdrawals at the ATM. You you also have some perks like discounts from different companies and online stores that you actually do use like booking.com, car rentals, etc. It's easy to make international payments, N26 is actually integrated with WISE, it's a separate company that manages their international transfers and that sort of just makes sure that your fees that you encounter during those transfers are a bit lower than what you would be getting from the local banks. N26 is an online bank, so it doesn't really have any branches here in Spain. And maybe because of that, their app is really good. You have access to insights, you can easily see where your money is going, and you can block your card, request a new one very quickly. You can set up some automatic transfers between your accounts. It's very, very user-friendly and super easy to use. Second account I love is Revolut. It is also online bank like N26, but it has some additional features. I found that bank transfers, whether it's a local bank or a bank abroad, take much less time if you're sending it from Revolut. In my experience, it's almost immediate to pretty much any account. Then you have vaults, which is kind of like savings accounts. But the interesting thing that they have is they have shared vaults. So if you're saving money with your partner or friends for some sort of trip, you can all create this shared vault where you put money every month or every week. Similarly to N26, it has different perks with multiple companies. So having N26 and Revolut basically just gives you more options to save up some money whenever you are fishing for a good deal. I will walk out of this garage sale with the finest item here. And also if you're shopping online, Revolut has something called virtual cards. So you can just create this card on the fly, put some money in there, use it for making online purchase, and then after that you can just get rid of it. Just essentially gives you a bit more protection whenever you're shopping online, so you don't really have to put your main card number there. But the most useful thing from Revolut, at least that I find personally, is ability to open multiple currency accounts. So you can literally just open a new one right off the bat and transfer money there immediately. It's very useful, especially if you're making regular payments in different currency or if you don't want to lose on exchange rate that much. Revolut also allows you to make investments into stocks and crypto. I got my first job at the age of nine. I have put all my money into gold. 
which is currently at an all-time high. So if you want to dip your toes into it, that's pretty good way to start. I'm not saying that it's the best account for investments in terms of fees. I can make a comparison video if that's something you're interested in. Let me know in the comments down below. But I think it's a great way of getting into the habit of investing and putting money aside as a lot of people have a lot of fear when they are starting out with investments. Third and the last account I want to talk about is CYNG. And this is the only account in this list that actually have branches here in Spain. When opening this account, I actually needed to go to one of the branches uh, to provide my identity uh, for them to finalize the setup of my account. I think it's worth mentioning just because with N26 and Revolut, I didn't really have to do that. One thing that I really liked about this account that other two options didn't really provide is at the end of the financial year, they give you a statement with all of your transfers in and out. So whenever you're making a tax return at the end of the year, if that's one of your main accounts, it makes it super easy for you to fill in that form. At the start of the video, I mentioned that there are certain considerations you have to take whenever you're opening these accounts. And I think that talking about ING is a good place to mention them. Whenever you're making a tax return at the end of the financial year here in Spain, there is a list of banks that Spanish government accepts. And ING is one of them, Revolut and N26 is not. So if you have to pay in or government has to pay you back, you won't be able to do that online if you don't have one of the local banks. Uh, that's main reason why I opened ING. I previously did have some issues whenever I was trying to pay online uh, using N26. I just had to go to the ATM and uh, pay that way. But that's not very convenient. I kind of just want to have everything as automated and as easy to use as possible. Then also Revolut doesn't actually have Spanish IBAN and that might be a problem whenever you are trying to use it to get a contract with a water provider or internet provider or maybe sometimes with your employer. Uh, so that's something to think about as well. N26 does have it, uh, but as I mentioned before, you might not be able to make payments absolutely everywhere here in Spain. I also found that whenever I'm asked to provide proof of address, the bank statements from N26 for some reason are not being accepted. That wouldn't be the problem with ING. Main reason I stayed away from more popular local banks here in Spain is that all of them have maintenance fee and I don't really want to pay every month for just banking with them. Uh, all of these bank accounts are free and I think ING is one of the few local banks, if not the only one, that actually offers free account. If you are wondering actually how much money you need to live here in Barcelona, I have a video created just right here, make sure to watch it next. If you're interested in topics like living abroad, traveling and personal finance, make sure to subscribe to this channel as I'll be making more videos like that. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!